Sooty mold is a type of plant mold. Okay, we figured that one out, seeing as we are looking at Dendrobium tortile. It is a plant, it is an orchid. But it is a type of mold that grows in the honeydew or secretions of many common plant pests, such as aphids or scale. The pests cover the leaves of your plant in honeydew and the sooty mold spores lands on the honeydew and begins to reproduce. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate that you're here. I hope I can help you solve the problem if you see what I see on my orchid, orchids, in plural, things have been happening. Basically, you can identify sooty mold if your orchid has started to look like it has been spending time sitting next to a fire and is now covered in a black soot. Chances are then that your plant is suffering from sooty mold. How to get rid of the sooty mold can be a perplexing question, but I hope that after this video it is not. Treating the problem is best done by treating the source of the problem. This would be getting rid of the pests that excrete the honeydew the mold needs to live. First, you need to determine which pest you have and then eliminate that from your orchid. Once the pest problem has been solved, the sooty mold growth can easily be washed off the leaves and the structures. Know that sooty mold is not going to be lethal to your orchids, but the pests that bring the honeydew, they will probably take out your orchid if not dealt with in a timely manner. Now, my Dendrobium tortile here had scale this year and the scale was treated the orchid as such is scale free because i use insecticidal soap wipe the leaves down etc but clearly there has been some residue of honeydew where the sooty mold could find its way in and take hold you will also find sooty mold not just on leaves you can see it starting to happen on sheaths i have some ancelia africanas that the old canes the sheaths are showing signs of sooty mold Peeling away the sheaths also takes care of that problem if you're so inclined. Now to get rid of the sooty mold source, seeing as my orchid is free of any of the scale, and to my understanding I thought free of the honeydew as well, is a little problem with growing outside as the spores of sooty mold are all around me and I have a concentration of it in the hedge. I cannot get rid of that part of the plant, even though I keep pruning it, keeping that area nicely ventilated, it'll always come back, especially when the temperatures are mild and the humidity is super high, something I have had in the past two weeks. Super mild temperatures around 19, 20 degrees Celsius and pouring, pouring rain, which culminated in a humidity of 93% for a long period of time. So the best way to get rid of sooty mold, it takes a little bit of time, but you get yourself some clean water. It's a good excuse to go play with your orchids. Anyway, clean water, and the ratio is two or three drops of dishwater into 10 liters of that clean water. And to get good coverage, put it in kind of a fine spray bottle and then spray your orchid down. Thoroughly, really drench that orchid, the leaves, the undersides, all the canes. You will also see if you have this problem that usually it is the older structures that are more affected because when we treat for pests, sometimes we are more concerned with the new growth. So that is where our focus is. And then the new growth is protected. The honeydew has dripped down onto older structures. So everything gets a nice drenching of the solution of two or three drops of dish soap in water 10 liters in my case i will put the conversions up on the screen for you when it comes to gallons so it's quite a big batch but that'll take care of it and then you just let it sit and let it activate for a couple of minutes keep spraying and when i say a couple of minutes i mean five ten minutes not two give it some time do that along all the structures nice and wet and then with the same solution in a tub with a clean rag wipe the structures down and rid it of the sooty mold remnants and this is the pedantic part this is where it's like just clean your orchid off of this stuff and that should take care of it if you have a massive outbreak of course it's going to take much longer but it's well worth it leaving it on just makes everything very unsightly it won't take your plant down but photosynthesis is affected clearly if you choose to peel off the sheaths usually the canes underneath 
are nice and clean, but that soap water will take care of everything and it should be absolutely fine. Sometimes it's a bit tedious to clean the sheaths. It's not something I do on my Ancelias that often. You can see how it's saturating into the tissue of the dried sheaths and underneath everything is absolutely fine. You just don't want the problem to perpetuate. So I just wanted to show you this as an example that once you remove the sheath, the cane itself is absolutely not affected. There is only the residue on the outside. It doesn't penetrate into the tissue of the cane. There we go. Repeat application is not necessary. Once it's gone, it's gone. Of course, a repeat application will be necessary if the conditions are persistent and it returns back. However, you can see how simple it is. I hope that this was helpful and know that if you have those kind of conditions, high humidity and good temperatures, this is just a nasty little side effect. Your orchids are living their best life in conditions like those. So appreciate you watching. If you're so inclined, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and consider yourself welcome. Have yourselves a fabulous day on that one condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.